Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. Uh, in this video, hopefully, uh, we're going to uh, complete Hell 26 all the way through to Hell 30. Uh, so we'll just jump in uh, and see how it goes. Now, um, let me just pop Hades back in. We had to take him out in order to beat the previous stage. Um, I do want to see uh, this team in action. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Um, the... The problem with this team, it's very, it's very pay to win. So let me just take these out and let's go ahead into our Soul Eater Synergy and just see if we can beat this stage with a team like this. So with Bastet, um, Gwyn, Macaria and Lancelot as well. Uh, so I don't suspect we will, um, but miracles have happened. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Um, I think we can go ahead and add in. In fact, we'll we'll leave as is. If I take this out, that's two. I think I can do that, and then we can go ahead and increase HP as well. So let's go ahead and see how that works, and then this team absolutely fine. Um, I think we could take the speed out. Don't think we'll need speed. Uh, we'll put the axe in. And there we go. So let's jump in and just see how these teams do. Now, I don't expect, uh, I, I don't expect these teams to, um, uh, this first team to win. Uh, just, it is what it is. Um, you know, I think you do require Mulan in order to pass through uh, these stages. But I've been wrong before. The that burn mechanic is just so powerful. But it may just be that Lancelot is the one. Um, dealing with all of that so our teams do return and it looks like we are doing reasonable amounts of damage Macaria doing uh, quite hefty chunks of damage as well in this one we get our holy shield stacks on our front two units as well and remember every time the soul devourer uh, soul devourer kicks in um, we do get um, yeah start of battle So we'll get that corrode, and then we double the number of corrode triggers, or corrode stacks. And we're doing reasonable amounts of damage to them. I think as long as we can keep this holy shield up. Hmm. And a double trigger as well from the bow, nice. So we get Arcdina to trigger. Again, we're doing reasonable amounts of damage to him, and this, to me, this is a relatively free-to-play team. I mean, Ardini you could probably take out, um, but you do, most people should have copies of uh, Gwyn and Makaria as well. Um, the, the fact is that if you're not getting these units from the Oracle Summon at random, then there's, uh, then there's trouble, you know. Um, uh, or at least you should be picking these up quite frequently uh, Gwyn and Makaria they are both vital uh, in sort of the early game as well now the major cause of the damage for the enemy team uh, is the corrode factor so we double corrode triggers here and Lancelot also um, does 200% uh, corrode damage as well so as you can see, we've still we've had holy shields up for basically the entire game, uh, off the entire match so far. Um, so I, yeah, I, I think it's going very well with this team. It's uh, it's outperforming my expectations. It's that corrode damage that's doing it, and it's this uh, this artifact here. You do also have this one, so lead to synergy increase attack uh, of all allies by five hundred percent. So we are getting the increased attack um, as well. So you do require those artifacts, but the artifacts will come effectively through the... And there's Lancelot applying those Corrode stacks again on his basic attack. Um, but yeah, again, you do you do get uh, these units, a lot of them for free Bastet, people should have copies of. Uh, Macaria, people should have copies of. And uh, Lancelot as well. Uh, you should be getting copies of throughout the course of this season i'm up to three at the moment uh, so i'm i've got him up to eight stars which gives me the protector synergy so that's protector synergy between bastet gwyn and 
uh, Lancelot as well. And let's see how many stacks of Holy Shield we still have. So we've still got a couple of stacks of Holy Shield left. Unfortunately, Gwyn not able to uh, close things out there. We'll just see now that the Holy Stack Shields have gone from the back row, whether or not uh, we can keep going. So that Holy Shield stack, it's just so powerful. Uh, and it is from the relics that we're using. So the, uh, the double activation of bow um, is also very powerful. But I think, yeah, we're, we're onto a good one here. <laughs> My apologies for the, uh, for the doubt. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so it looks like Corrode is, is doing the most damage. So two or three more rounds, I think. They have um, lowered the health pools in uh, in here as well. So potentially, uh, you just need to get as many corrode stacks as possible on this front team uh, after activating that uh, soul uh, reaper effect or soul eater effect as well. And there you go, spawn. So that's that's it. I mean, it took 14 rounds, uh, but that's the team quid essentially. That's how you that's how you win this team. You just need Sal. <laughs> As you can see, Sal has done the most amount of damage. Uh, you really do need Sal uh, and his exclusive runes. But Sal is relatively easy to come across, uh, and getting his exclusive runes has become easier than ever now. So let's take out uh, Gwyn, Arkadina, and Makaria of this team. Let's go ahead and put in Hades. Uh, we'll put Mulan in. And we will also put in... I think Gwyn put a lot of work in that. So we'll put him in the front. Uh, put Lancelot in the front as well. Um, and then let's jump in. Uh, with this team, see if this team is any better. So this is more of a, a pay-to-win team, um, specifically because of Mulan uh, and also because of Hades. Now Hades is only at six stars, remember, so can be uh, potentially uh, a problem. But we do now have uh, three Mystifiers on the team as well. So we have Mulan um, and we have uh, Hades as well. Um, So Hades will be applying the burn, as will Mulan. And we do get the double trigger for uh, the bow as well, giving us stacks of Holy Shield. Hopefully that will continue over the course of the next couple of uh, couple of rounds. Uh, but we'll just see. Yeah, so Corrode, burn, really kicking in there. <laughs> yeah, Hades doing 10,000 million. Uh, that's, yeah, it's not bad. So we do complete it faster, um, but it's still the same amount of damage uh, that we're doing as well. So we get the double ults here. I wonder. Oof, shame. Yeah, look, so, you know, the other team um, seem much better to me. They all survived through to the end. Whereas on this team, we're now we've only got two survivors left, and that'd be Hades and um, Hades and Mulan. So applying the corrode, applying the burn. And there we go. So within four rounds, yeah, a um, lot lot easier <laughs> this time round. Uh, this, uh, this team is just a mishmash, um, it really is. Now, uh, I do have uh, exclusive runes for Nyx, uh, but Nyx's exclusive runes, mm, they are uh, currently on Hades, I believe. 
which is why we see the um, leech effect from Hades as well. So just something to keep in mind. But I suspect that will start to put up uh, quite large damage numbers as well. Hmm. Ah, uh, so is it the striker? I think. Be gone. Be gone. Let the hunt begin. challenging on this team. <laughs> yeah, that's splash damage. No splash damage on that one though. Could have done with it to be honest. The problem is that Celine, he's not, um, he's not able to get hit because of the amount of holy shield, so he's not able to build up properly. The way that Celine's runes work is that he needs to lose health, so he needs to be sort of down to 20% health, then heal it all the way back up again, and then uh, excess healing of that, uh, or not excess, but I think 20% of that will be converted into attack as well. So any healing where he's lost life um, and he's healing back up will increase his attack. Double eye traps is nice though. So. Oof, that was a big hit. And that as well. Oh. Yes, yeah, the splash damage that does it. damage but it is what it is I think once we get to the next round or next two rounds that's when we're going to start to see some massive damage numbers skip through the next couple now um just because you know we're going to run out of time and we've got to go through yeah so again same outcome those two at the front and these guys survive until round eight or so uh, let's go ahead and see this one to this is 29 still got a long way to go i control the laws of life and death not bad In time, all will so they're getting a bit stronger now looks like Hey, he's still putting out more damage than Sal. Flipping act. Um, so this is round 30. This is Gwyn. So Gwyn, in case you don't know. Um, so he... Yeah, so it's uh, activated rune skill. Uh, applies curse. So reducing attack by 100%. Now if Bastet is not there, then she won't... Um, oh, lucky us. Uh, but yeah, if, if Bastet is not there, uh, then she will... Um, should not be able to remove that curse uh, that's applied on the team uh, so we need to rely on the plus uh, 30 buffs per per unit there so there's the curse being applied 
And that's by step removing that curse. Perfect. Hey, he's doing respectable damage. Mulan won't be doing anywhere near as much. No. 4,090. 4,090k. But the burn will. That's the point. The burn and the corrode are the key uh, in this Soul Eater synergy. I'm getting one or two of your Mystifiers to survive. Primarily, probably Lancelot and Mulan. Ah, shame. Mulan down. Um, but getting Lancelot or Mulan to um, become one of the Soul Eaters, I think that is the, the best you can hope for. Not bad, so we get the execution there. He just seems very unkillable in this state. Like I've seen him die. I've seen him die very quickly, especially in PvP, uh, with this team set up. Um, again, maybe it is Gwyn. Maybe Gwyn is the key. He is a protector, after all. So you do get that protector synergy between Bastet um Gwyn and Lancelot, so. And the double execution there from Hades, not bad. We'll take that. And then we'll watch this one as well. Um, now we don't have a counter, so let's see what the difference is. We don't have a counter. We could probably run a loon um, because of the Valianters. Uh, so we've got Atrops and Nyx in this one. Um, but she would go in the spot of Sal, uh, and Sal is going to be one of the primary damage dealers in this particular setup. So, it is what it is, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm getting these blessings. <laughs> Sometimes we don't want these blessings, you know. It is what it is, though. We'll see. And no, uh, no curse applied to Nyx there. Oof. Then yeah, this will be a slow, slow build up. You kind of don't want Astrid back there and for Nyx to attack this middle slot as well because the damage is just wasted on, on Gwyn here. Because you're not aiming to get Gwyn down. Sal above 30 buffs, that's not bad. Hmm. Astrid's the only one with a curse left, apparently she doesn't need no buffs. damage not with the splash effect of course but again it's just kind of wasted and no splash from Sal either oof what a pain Nick's down we kind of needed uh, Sal to take that sort of damage but is what it is Getting up there now. It's getting up there slowly but surely. <laughs> Finally, Astrid loses that curse. <laughs> Double blessings, of course, triple blessings. Sal will ever lose this holy shield. There 
there we go, a bit better, but no splash damage, unfortunately. No. Oh. <laughs> now we're in slow motion. Checking out, this is the slowest I've ever seen it. <laughs> this is quite interesting to watch. Oh, and there we go. Back into normal speed again. Went into bullet time. <laughs> we got one stack of holy shield left. Now we don't. Now we're going to have way more. Four. still building up her attack as well. No splash, come on splash. Yeah, he's gonna get there, I think. Just needs one more of those, which will come in round 14. matches I've seen in a long time yeah so South hasn't built up any at all um, yeah he's just not been able to lose this holy shield despite being attacked numerous times we'll see if we can't beat him on this one that's it then close as well so close don't worry I'm not gonna make you watch it all again because we won't have to Way. <laughs> that was a close one um, yeah I think that's where we're gonna leave it thank you very much for watching uh, if you can like and subscribe do hope you have a fantastic day